guys welcome back to my channel this video today is going to go over my nighttime routine as you can imagine life is pretty busy pretty hectic especially with having a full-time job that I go to every day coming home sometimes not till after 5 30 having two kiddos and getting all of the things accomplished in a day really in, in a night so we're going to go over how I'm able to do that, how I'm also able to work out and still have a productive night, you know, despite so much going on. First thing I do is I always make sure I get the dishwasher cleaned up and cleaned out. So before I leave in the morning, most of the time I'll start it um, really earlier before I leave. So that by the time I leave, it's heat drying the dishes and then by the time I get home, they're cool. I can put them away. And it's cleaning out the sink from the mugs or the bowls from that morning. Um, tumblers, of course, from us taking coffee to work. So that that happens. My dad and my husband um, watch the kids for me. My dad picks up um, the kids two times a week for us, which is a big help. So while I'm getting some of these things done, um, they are watching them. If my dad didn't pick them up, then my husband takes care of them. But the kids pretty much do their own thing now. And, Crawl around Isabel, of course, and then little Keith watches his shows. I take out our dogs after dishes. This is Aries and Thelma. You've probably seen them in a couple of other videos. They get, I have to take Thelma out um, because we don't have a fence. And then next is I head upstairs and I change into more comfortable clothes. Mainly, I get right into workout clothes so that I don't have to change again. Once I'm in some more comfortable clothes and that's all straightened up in the kitchen, I head downstairs because with four of us now, laundry is never ever ending. <laughs> I always start a load in the morning, try and shift everything around, and then when I get home, right back to it, moving laundry from spot to spot and getting it done as much as possible. At that point, this day specifically, I'm involved in a clean week, so it's kind of a, a gut health, stomach flattening <laughs> type of program. And I had found this detox drink. It's a strawberry lemon water detox drink. It's just some basil leaves. You cut up some lemons very thin, strawberries very thin, dump all that into some water, and then let that sit. I let it sit overnight actually. Um, it doesn't, it says to wait a half hour, but I love my water ice, ice cold. So, and it was actually pretty good. I had it the next morning and it was fairly, fairly good. I could have used less basil leaves. So if you decide to try it, um, maybe only two, I think I put like four basil leaves in there, but only two. So yeah, that's what I was doing to this day, specifically this night. I wanted to get the detox drink ready for the morning and get all that prepped. I do a lot of prep work the night before so that there's less for me to do in the morning and then I can have a few moments in the morning to myself, which FYI, morning routine's coming soon. I've been promising it for like a month. It is coming. And then next, once I had that prep work done, I went ahead and just started cooking dinner. I make more healthier portions for myself, so I'll definitely like have some kind of a salad and ton of, tons and tons of vegetables. The good thing about our kids is they love all food, so they do love vegetables and fruit and things like that. So making a whole lot of vegetables isn't a big deal, but specifically I like making spinach salads, so it's just straight spinach salads. I had some cucumbers, celery, carrots, and then the dressing is just a very light vinaigrette, nothing too heavy. I like having a lot of spinach and greens during um, dinner. So while mac and cheese was cooking, I was making the more healthier version for myself. My husband, you know, will chow down on some salad too. But yeah, that was 
that was our meal and then we had mac and cheese and then actually something called chicken pulled chicken barbecue something i can't remember it's something you popped in the microwave um that was really good you can have that on rolls kind of like pulled pork but i didn't i didn't really have any rolls I'm trying to cut back on too much sugar with all of this so yep once all of this was done and certain things were starting to cook and finish cooking i began uh, setting the table and as always I have a helper Something new that I started doing at dinner time is I drink um, something, it's called pre-workout. It's basically just this little packet, you dump in a cup, I always have a specific seasonal cup, and then you add water, mix that up, and it's actually very flavorful, but it's full of natural ingredients, natural caffeine, a natural boost to help you get energized um, throughout your workout. So I'll drink that instead of having tea or God forbid soda. Um, and I, I drink water pretty much all day anyways, but this just gives me a little bit of taste at dinner time instead of just bland water all the time, but also preps me for my workout. So as long as I drink it within a half hour before I work out, it, it's so beneficial and so helpful during workouts. Once everything is set, dinner's done, we'll sit down, we'll eat as a family, take some time together, my parents, most of the time we'll stay and hang out for dinner, and then bath time for the kiddos. My husband always takes care of this for me. I'm super appreciative of him throughout this journey. He's been really supportive and just really on it and helping me with these kids. So he'll take care of our baths. I'll go ahead and start getting clothes out for the next day. Just that's a very helpful tip. One of the best tips I can give you is prep for your next day, the day before. I get their clothes out. You'll see here later, I'll make their lunches. I get my husband's clothes out. Before anybody comments, yes, he is capable and he has done it in the past and gotten his own clothes out. But since he's taking care of the kids for me, getting baths ready, I'm gonna do my best to help and support him. It's a give and take relationship. It works out really well for us. Then again, it's cleaning up the dining room table, getting dishes put away back in the dishwasher so that I can run that either tonight or in the morning. And it's just getting everything ready. Is Belle's ready to go to get her bath? She's heading in. <laughs> And then once the kiddos are set up with their baths and everything's cleaned up, I move right on downstairs to get my workout in. New bike finally came in after waiting a month, probably more than a month with my weight set. Super excited. I've done several rides on this. I found this yoga mat during the deep cleaning session. So I pulled that out, laid that out and got right into my workout 30 minutes i don't even think this one was 30 minutes this may have been like 25 minute workout it works out all the muscles having this new weight set is a blessing because i finally and now with using it starting to feel the soreness and the pressure and and the strength in my arms building with using heavier weights i absolutely love this program if you're interested in learning more about the programs message me and i'll definitely make sure to get you hooked up just comment below and I'll I'll make sure to give you some more information I'll even leave a link below you can fill out a form I digress though back to the nighttime routine I do like to vacuum at least once a day whether I get that done in the morning if the kids are up or before bedtime that's something else I do because we have dogs we have hair a lot of it it's shedding season and that's what happens right after my workout mainly is I go ahead and get that done. Then it's lunches are packed and by that time my parents have left and it's definitely time for Belle to get some sleep. We get her all tucked in. She's doing so well with sleep training. It's really easy now. I can just lay her in there, give her kisses and say good night. And then it's off to this nighttime routine that I've started with little Keith. He'll come into our bed just, just for a little bit and while my husband's getting a shower, 
he and I will grab a book and just sit down and read and then once we're done he gets to say goodnight to daddy and off he goes to his bed. I hope this nighttime routine was helpful. It shows that you know with some work and working things out you can make 30 minutes for yourself. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up that lets me know what people are interested in seeing and what they want to see more of. Make sure you're subscribed and click on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Until next time guys.